Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had an amazing week. And I thought that since you guys really enjoyed my daytime makeup routine that I would do a nighttime makeup for you guys because it's my friend's birthday tonight, so yeah. To start off, I'm gonna tie my hair up, which you guys saw me do on my first video, just to get your hair out of your face. Now, tonight I'm gonna wear just like a super easy little black dress. I'm gonna probably put my hair in like just like a little tight sleek bun so I don't need to worry about ponytail lines. Otherwise, I would usually just clip it back. I also just got a facial, so that's why my skin is super, I mean, it kind of looks a little oily. I have like a little, little red dots where she did some extractions. So that's why I'm looking really shiny and I don't need to moisturize because she just did that for me. So, if you want to use a primer, you totally can, which is great for the nighttime because you go a little bit thicker. This is Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Cover. And it's a face primer, so it's really great for like a base before your makeup if you're going thick on your skin. Random fact, I'm actually in Miami right now. My first makeup tutorial I did was in New York. So I kind of have different products here just based on like the Miami vibe. So I'm gonna start off with, again, I don't like to be too heavy on my skin. So I love this Dior Skin BB Cream. It's amazing. As you can see, I'm almost out of this one. It's amazing for like an overall coverage without being too thick. So I'm gonna just squirt a little bit on my hand, use a beauty blender and just blend that all over my face. And totally use your fingers if you want. I'm actually gonna just blend with my fingers after I apply it all over, just so it's really mixed in, because I feel like I can get better with my fingers. All up in the hairline, down to the neck. And that's just your good overall coverage. Now, I actually don't have my YSL concealer here, so I'm gonna be using another concealer that I love, which is this Chanel concealer. This is number two in called Corrector Perfection Concealer, or is it number 20? 20. And I'm gonna just go under my eyes, on my nose where I have those little dots from her extracting or any other blemishes you might have. I'm gonna use this brush, it's amazing. You can also use your fingers or your beauty blender, but I just love using this brush. Now, for a nighttime makeup look, I tend to, I did this in the day too, but I tend to do concealer twice just because when you apply eyeshadow or anything, it will sometimes fall down under your eyes. And then I wanna reapply just so I have a very like, no dark circle, no eyeshadow look under my eyes. <laughs> All covered. Now I'm gonna go right into my bronzer, which this evening I will be using this Chanel Universal Compact Press Powder. And this is one number 140, and this is what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna be using that as a bronzer. I'm gonna just take this little bronzing brush, and I'm gonna go in right under my cheekbones, forehead, chin, kind of get it all over. Don't forget about your neck. Honestly, nothing worse when your neck is paler than your face. I just find that so funny. Instead of doing like a proper contour, I'm gonna just take a bronzer that I have that is darker, darker than my skin tone, and I'm gonna go in under my cheekbones as just a little natural contour, as natural as you can get it. And if you wanna get fancy, you can take a little brush like this and just go down your nose and then I like to use my fingers just to make sure it's blended really well down. And that just kind of gives your like nose a little slimming effect. Now, next up, I'm gonna do a little blush. This Marc Jacobs, it's called Night Fever and Hot Stuff Air, Br Air Blush. I'm gonna use that same contour brush actually. And I'm gonna just go into the dark side. Do the tiniest bit on my cheeks. I kind of was forgetting how moisturized I was, which means everything sticks like very well. So just blend it. If you feel like you've gone too much, which I totally feel like I've gone too much right now, just use your beauty blender that has still that some of that 
BB cream on it and just brush it out and blend it back in. There, that's not too much. This light is making me look like I have a lot on, but in my mirror, I really don't. I hate doing makeup and screens. It makes it so hard. Now you see I still have that little guy. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, this Bobbi Brown in sand creamy concealer is amazing for any concealer like zits you have because it has this little powder and it has this little, this conceal brush. And I'm just gonna dab it. I probably should have done this step before I contoured my nose, but it just blends all your little red blemishes and then you go over with the powder, dab it on. Again, I'm just using whatever I have here in Miami. This MAC, it's Lingering Eyebrows Brow Pencil. And I just am gonna fill in. And then I'm gonna take my favorite product, Benefits Gimme Brow, and I'm gonna use this little brush to brush them. Blend it down a little bit. Today I'm using Audacity and Paris by Lancome, and I'm gonna show you how, what I'm gonna do first. So first I'm gonna go in with this color right there. And I like to start light and then build my way heavier, so I'm gonna go in with the lighter one and just get my lids. Kind of the whole thing, honestly, in the light color I start out with. Next up, I'm gonna go with the one that's right below, right here, that's a little darker. And I'm gonna just go in kind of in the middle of my lid. Now, I'm gonna go in with this color right next to the purple. I actually do the purple sometimes, it makes my eyes look green. But I'm gonna go in just on my natural crease line. I'm doing a bit of a smoky, but not like a huge smoky, if that makes any sense. Not like a black, but just a little enough to give you that nighttime feel. Right in the crease line, I just go eye to eye to make sure that everything is even and the eyes are the same. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this medium middle one and just dab a little bit more in the middle. Now, I'm gonna take this little angled um, brush and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with the lightest again, the light one that I did, and I'm gonna just get the corners of my eyes. I love that. Okay, now I'm gonna take the second dark one, medium, and go in below my lashes. Like I said on my daytime video, I am not doing an inner liner. And then that darker one there, in the corner, outer corners. Now this brush is kind of frayed. If you have a more like a perfectly angled brush, it'll be like a perfect line. You can take a Q-tip and just kind of blend it so it's a bit smokier, not such a harsh line. My secret to a liner look without actually using liner is to use like a brown or black or any dark color. I'm gonna use the black because I'm going out tonight. And you can either wet your brush or just use it dry. I'm gonna use mine dry today and Go in with the black, your angled brush, and then just do the corners. And I go to like halfway into my eye. And I just feel like that opens it up. Just blends really nicely into your shadow and it's not as dramatic as real eyeliner. Okay, so next step is gonna be to powder, which I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna take the powder Tap it off and then go under my eyes before I conceal one last time. T-zone or wherever you tend to get oily. I have so much oils on from this facial so I feel extra oily right now. I'm gonna just go in and conceal one last time to make sure it's extra. Now powder it just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna do my waterline trick which is to take any cream colored pencil or eyeliner or white and then just go in here. I actually like cream better than white. This is this is a white one because I guess that's what I have, but next up, eyelash curler. Your best friend. Give it a good curl. Mascara. So I'm obsessed with this mascara right now. This is by Benefit and it's called Roller Lash. And the bristles are super nice because they're they're kind of like hard plasticky, so they let you separate the lashes really nicely. I like to start on my top lashes so that by the time the brush is like more empty of product, like there's not as much on there, and then you can do your bottom ones and you don't get that super clumpy bottom. Oh, I got a little bit there. 
and I'm gonna hit the bottom and do the night out. Perfect. Then I've got my highlighter. Tonight I'm using this NARS highlighting stick. It's called Copacabana and it's a great color. I'm just gonna brush it on my cheekbones, nose, Cupid's bow. I don't like to do my chin because I don't like to look oily. And then you're gonna use your finger to blend it in because otherwise it would just be like a stick. Okay, it's blended. <gasps> Lip! Okay, so because I already have a bit of a smoky eye, I don't wanna do like anything dramatic, like a red lip or anything like that. So I'm using this Velvet Matte by Victoria's Secret Lip Cream. It's amazing. It's honestly the best matte lipstick because this one's called Adored. Because I find with matte lipstick, honestly, my lips dry out so much and it looks so gross. And then I'm gonna use a lip liner before, so I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Plumberry Line My Lips. Okay. Smush it in. There, that's like the perfect like matte color for my lips. Okay, perfect. Thanks for tuning in guys, see you later. And let me know if you have any comments in the section below.